I tried to talk to them. I tried to tell Alan what he was doing to this town, but I just couldn't get through to him. I mean, I don't know, somehow something is so different now. I mean, Alan has always been cold-hearted, conniving, and heartless. But now it's just worse. There's no way you can get through to him? Maureen, I went to Spalding, and I, I tried to plead for the sick and the poor in our community, and that man not only turned me down, he wouldn't stamp my parking ticket, and I had to pay to park in the Spalding lot. If only Philip were here. Well, he's not! Won't they be alarmed to see me? They can't see or hear us. Watch this. I think the heart went out of Philip when Alexander left town. He couldn't face Alan or Springfield without her. Do I smell smoke? <coughs> I guess no one knew how much she meant to us until now. Sand, it was so terribly contrived. None of this would ever happen. You make no difference at all. How lovely to hear that. Well, at least I'm leveling with you. I'm not trying to sell you some bill of goods. Well, this could all happen. You know it could. So what? So what if they all go to hell in a handbasket? You make no difference to them. Well, maybe that's not exactly the question. Maybe it's not how much you mean to them, but how much they mean to you. I think I'd better check the stove. I don't know. I just don't know. You could go to sleep. You could just go to sleep. No, you can't sleep. There's more. There always is. Chelsea, what's wrong? I lost my job. Which one? Both of them. Alan bought up all the clubs in Springfield, so now no one but Reva can sing. And what about your newspaper job? You know, the one where you wear the glasses? Alan bought the journal, too. Fletcher couldn't keep it going without Alexandra's capital. Oh, how we miss her. Well, I could have kept the job, but I was going to write editorials. Maureen... Alan wanted me to condemn baby seals for manipulating the media. Oh, Alexandra, none of this makes any difference to you. Who cares about any of it? This is all so sad. This is all so ludicrous. None of this would ever happen. Just go to sleep. All right. Let's see what really might happen. You don't even have to lie down. Just close your eyes. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Fletcher. Hi, Fletcher. I'm so sorry to hear about the newspaper. Well, you can cheer me up tonight. You piece of dirt. She's married. This is wrong, and you There was no one there to save me. Wake up. Wake up, damn it. Alexandra. What have you done to yourself? 